the quilt helps individuals to reconcile their loss. They're able to accept the fact that the person they love is gone. The people who are memorialized here are considered pariahs of society. And the quilt shows that they are not, that they are human beings who have had families, who have had people who have loved them. I was standing in the middle of what was a desert, you know, sandy, uh, arid soil, uh, surrounded by these small houses, and these women were making images with, you know, filled with these beautiful green um, little vegetables and fruit trees and wonderful kind of very rich uh, um, patterns and details. And I thought that they were simply imagined, but they were not. Um, these harvests were the reality in their villages. And the women who made these pictures uh, were, making, were picturing the harvests as they remembered them and as they were still celebrated in the villages in the Altiplano. I've been in many of these protestas myself, and I know the force of the water wagons and the choking, gasping, vomiting pain of the tear gas bombs. It is important for you to know that all the pain of the repression, torture, hunger, and fear, also brought forth the creation of the arpieras. And important people struck back in the only way they could. The history of humanity is a history of collaboration. Sharing language, meaning, and tradition has helped us work towards achieving a common purpose. Nowhere is this commonality more clearly seen than in the material culture of the people. Nowhere can we examine the richness of material culture more than in their art, the art of the people. This is a tale of the human spirit and how it has struggled and survived over the years. This is a tribute to the wisdom of tradition, the beauty of harmony, and the power of collaboration.